We are going to look at Bend Organ using Google Earth and a 1913 Sanborn map. The 1913 Sanborn map was part of the maps that Sanborn put out for insurers so that an insurer miles away from a town could determine the size and characteristics of the building, its fire risk, etc., in, in providing fire insurance. We're going to come in on Bend using the 1913 map. Bend in 1913 had a population of probably about 2,500 people. Uh, today it's 105,000 people, so a lot has changed. The buildings that you see on the map here are uh, overlaid on Bend. This is the Sanborn map overlaid on Bend. Uh, so you can identify the the colors of the buildings. The reddish buildings are made of brick, the bluish buildings made of stone, and the yellow buildings made of wood, frame buildings. I can tell you already that there there are no frame buildings that I could find that are still in Bend today in the downtown area. The only buildings that have survived are buildings that were made of stone or brick, as you might expect. They, we're going to begin by identifying some of the, the streets uh, and the positions in this on this map. North uh, is to the top of the map, and uh, the areas where I've put X's are areas that don't correspond to the underlying areas on the map. These are, this is the high school, and, and these, they don't, they're not here. But the rest of these these buildings are overlaid almost perfectly on on the map as to where they existed in 1913. Um, the Schutz River, Greenwood, Oregon, Minnesota, Bond Street, and Wall Whoops, Wall Street. Let's uh, start with a well-known, if no longer their building, which is the, the uh, Pilot Butte Inn. The Pilot Butte Inn, and it was there when I lived in Bend, back in the 60s, uh, at the intersection of Greenwood and Wall. And I'm going to tip this to flatten it a little bit, so it's there. Okay, so the Pilot Butte Inn in 1913 had a hotel bar, a lobby, a dining room, a parlor, uh, rooms out here I think might have been called the annex if I remember, uh, kitchen area, and you could look out uh, from the hotel lobby here and see the Deschutes River and the Three Sisters and Mount Bachelor out that window, beautiful view. The uh, town as we look at it, I want to take you down the street a little bit so you can see what was here not going to try to identify every building in town at the moment, but uh, wallpaper and paint store, uh, a tailor, dry goods store, uh, a, a bank, drug store, clothing store, grocery store, a bakery, here's a candy factory, hardware store, meat market, post office, Here's a store that sold harnesses for horses, I'm sure. Pool hall, a moving picture theater, another dry goods store, cross street, a grocery store, hardware store, grocery store, a restaurant. If you go down to Minnesota and Wall, you see a millinery store, a photo store on Minnesota, a blacksmith and a tin shop. The commercial club was located here on Wall Street. It thins out as you get further to the south. The bulletin office and printing, I suspect it was the Ben Bulletin office at that time, at the corner of, of uh, what was this? I don't know this alley here, but uh, it was on what is now Franklin. Here is uh, Franklin and Bond, 
We're going to go back north on Bond Street. Here's a agriculture implements and a hardware store. Going north on Bond Street, here's a, a livery stable and a transfer of uh, help you moving. Hay, hay storage, a uh, couple of saloons, a restaurant. If we go all the way up um, to, here's Oregon and Bond. Here's a blacksmith shop on on Oregon going up this way. Um, in the corner of Oregon and, and Bond, there was a bank. I th there was a bank. I don't know how long that bank existed. But there was a bank there that I remember. A feed store and a livery store. This livery stable also uh, had a car that they would take you up out to the desert, 1913, to buy yourself a piece of land in the days when desert land was being sold in the in central Oregon. Here is another hotel, the Hotel Wright, made of stone. Uh, so in all, all in all, there's quite a collection of businesses in Bend in 1913 for a small town. Now, let's take a moment and look at a couple of buildings that are still there. And they're, of course, in this case, brick buildings. This building was a bank and drugstore and Masonic Hall upstairs. I had a, I have, a, I have a friend who had an accounting business in this building. Um, we can take a look at it from the street. Just before we do that, let me let me show you. There's the new, the old building and the new building underneath it. You can see the that these two buildings conform very closely to the to the. Uh, uh, 1913 map, which tells us that very probably they were there in 1913. Here's, we'll go down here to the corner in a street view, and we'll turn around and we'll look at that building. Here's the Pine Tavern, by the way. Here's the building we were looking at with the Masonic Hall upstairs. And the building next door to it, Ben planted trees here in the 70s and 80s, so they tend to obscure the the buildings now. But uh, those trees were not there when I was when I lived in Bend. Okay, this building was there in 1913. So was this one. And I think across the street and down just a little bit. Turn the map back to the north. There's another building on Wall Street that that was there. Here's the Masonic Hall again. This building here was there in 1913. Uh, this is again uh, Oregon and Wall Street looking north, north to the top. Let's come in and take a look at that building just for the fun of it. Okay. There's another 1913 building. Okay. Reorient the map to north at the top. I'm going to go over to Bond, and I know a couple of buildings that were there. This building, this is this is uh, Greenwood here, and this is Bond Street. So we're on near the corner of Bond and Greenwood, across the street from the old livery stable, and this building. It's in blue here. It was there. 1913. There it is. That building was there in 1913. Uh, this building wasn't there, but it sure looked like it could have been. All right, we'll leave Street View. Just so you can recognize what's there, The we'll do the phase in and out. There's There's that building. So that's a, what Bend looked like in 1913. It's a little bigger today. <laughs> you back up. It takes a lot more space today than it did in 1913.